Do something. Are you dead? How's it going, everybody? So you may be wondering, is Dogecoin dead? I mean, crypto's been pretty boring lately. Bitcoin has been hanging around below 30,000. Ethereum has been hanging around just under 2,000. Dogecoin is hanging around 20 cents. What happened to all this crazy movement that we saw earlier in the year? So Pro the Doge or the Dogecoin Millionaire is offering merch now. And I saw this cool shirt and decided that I wanted to support him and get one of his shirts. And in honor of him, I decided to make a video about Dogecoin and give you my thoughts. So forgive my poor artistry skills, leave a like to revive the Doge, and let's get into it. Some of you may be wondering, what is Dogecoin? What am I even talking about? So Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency that was originally created in 2013 as a joke. It wasn't created to have any usefulness whatsoever. It was just created for fun. And people kind of jumped onto this and, you know, they, they thought it was a lot of fun. It was a joke, it was a meme, and it was a less serious form of cryptocurrency. And so people started trading it around and giving it to each other as a joke and just for fun. And that community has evolved a lot over the past few years. And so now this Dogecoin community has become pretty strong and pretty big. As it was growing earlier this year, a lot of people saw an opportunity to make a lot of money from it. And a lot of people did make a lot of money from it once Elon Musk got involved and started tweeting about it. Another thing you may be wondering is, how do you even pronounce this? Some people call it doggy coin, some people call it dog coin, other people call it dodge coin, other people call it doge coin. So how do you pronounce it? I've looked up in multiple different areas and the majority of people pronounce it as Dogecoin. Now the easiest way to think of this is you think of luge, like a bobsled but the one you ride on your back. That's way more dangerous and scary and stuff. But think of the word luge and then have you, as you think of that, kind of transfer that sound over to Doge. So luge, Doge, kind of the same way. So my first thought on Dogecoin, is Dogecoin dead or is Dogecoin going to disappear? My answer to that is no. It's very unlikely that it's going to disappear because the community has grown so big and they love it so much that I don't think the Dogecoin community is going to let Dogecoin die. I think it's going to be around for a while and I think a lot of changes have come into play to make it actually useful. So it has turned from a joke into something that can actually be used. So next thing. Is Dogecoin a good investment? So this is something that you'll want to think about and kind of research because there's many factors that go into whether or not this is a good investment. So for the long term, I would say it's probably not a very good investment, but for the short term, the next maybe five to 10 years, it might be. So let's go over some of the reasons why it might be or why it might not be a good investment. So in the crypto space, there's a lot of different coins that have different purposes and accomplish different tasks. So the way Dogecoin is set up in the current time, it's more set up to be used as a currency instead of an asset or something that holds value. And the reason is that Dogecoin is designed to be an inflationary coin, meaning that more and more are produced each year. So the longer you hold it, the less it's going to become worth. It'll be like holding cash. Cash loses value over time, so the longer you hold it, the less it becomes worth. Now, it is wise to hold on to some cash for emergencies because, say something happens, you get in a car accident, and you need to pay your deductible. Most likely, your deductible is going to be $500 to $1,000 for the near future. So it's good to hold on to some money, even if it decreases in value, because you need it for those kinds of emergencies. You may have a problem with your car. You may have other sorts of financial emergencies that pop up and you need to have some money on hand. So it's good to hang on to some cash or some money, but you shouldn't consider that money an investment. Okay, so another thing in the future that I kind of see Dogecoin being used for is since it's set up to be used like a currency, I imagine it's going to rise to a certain value and kind of plateau and then keep its value almost like regular fiat currencies do right now. They're all worth approximately the same amount. The euro is worth a little bit more than the dollar. Some of the other currencies are worth less, so they're all about the same, but they stay pretty even in their value. They don't usually decrease or increase at crazy amounts at a certain time. Now, the reason I say that it could be used as a currency is because the way it's designed. Since it's inflationary 
and you don't want to hold on to it as an investment, it makes more sense to use it and spend it and exchange it since the value is going to reach a certain point and kind of maintain. Since Dogecoin is inflationary, that's one of the reasons why I see it as being useful for a currency in the future. Bitcoin is deflationary and it has a very high value. Ethereum has so many uses that it's going to be used in a variety of different ways. So most likely people aren't going to want to go buy drinks and snacks and go to the grocery store using Bitcoin or Ethereum because they're going to have different uses. But with Dogecoin, people will be happy to use it because it's got a low value and they have no reason really to keep it because it'll reach a certain value where it kind of maintains. So next point, and I think this is an important one, this is one that a lot of people are going to talk about, is why would you use Dogecoin when you could just use the dollar? It doesn't make any sense to a lot of people why you would convert your money to this Dogecoin to go and buy things. So this is something that I've thought about a lot, and I don't really have an answer yet, but I've come up with a couple hypothetical scenarios as to why people would use Dogecoin. So one of the scenarios that I came up with is, let's say in the future that the U.S. government stops printing physical money. They stop making coins, they stop making dollar bills, and things like that, and it goes all digital. So now you have your dollars still, but it's all just a number in a bank account. So the US dollar is inflationary, Dogecoin is also inflationary. But the difference is, is how inflationary they are and how the inflation is controlled. So in the average year, which we haven't seen for a couple of years, the US government prints about $7.2 billion. So roughly $7 billion of new money printed in a year. Well, over the last year or so, there has been trillions of dollars printed. So the inflation seems like it's gone up quite a bit. And the thing with Dogecoin is that each year, 5 billion Dogecoins are created. And so that's a steady pattern that just continues to go up at the same rate. So the US dollar continues usually at a normal rate, but sometimes the US government, when necessary, will print more or less money. So as an analogy, I'm gonna kind of compare this as to with Dogecoin, it's like filling a pool at your house with a garden hose. At first, the inflation seems like a lot because you're just putting the hose in the pool and it seems like it's putting out a lot of water. But as the pool fills up, you don't even notice that there's water being added into it anymore. You just come back and check on it every so often, whether it be minutes or hours, to see how much more water has gone into the pool. So that's kind of how Dogecoin is. It's going to seem like it's inflating a lot at first with 5 billion Dogecoin a year, but as the supply increases, that 5 billion Dogecoin that's added is going to seem less and less and have less and less of an effect. Now with the US dollar, I'm going to compare it to a snow making machine at a ski resort. So they turn it on, it starts making snow, but then they want more and more of it, so they crank it on higher, and then it starts making more and more snow. And then they get to a certain point where they don't need as much, so they turn it back down, so it starts creating less snow. So the inflation rate, depending on what's going on, is less predictable and is centrally controlled by the US government. So that's one of the things that people like about crypto, is that it's not controlled by somebody. So crypto is set up to be more decentralized and less controllable by one party or one person. So if this hypothetical scenario was to come to pass, this might be a reason why people might be more comfortable with Dogecoin rather than the US dollar or their fiat currency. So another reason why they might use it in this hypothetical scenario is that it's universal across the world. It's a currency that one Doge equals one Doge no matter where you are in the entire world. And this is something that I think crypto has a good advantage in, in that all over the world, each crypto is worth the same price, no matter where it is. So this will be one of the benefits that I think crypto will have in the future, is that it can be used globally. So no matter where you are in the world, that you know you can use your crypto as long as it's accepted in that country. So because Dogecoin is one of the most loved cryptos, I think it's going to stay around for a while, and it might become more and more usable over time, as different developments come by. Similar to how Google became the preferred search engine on the internet, even though there was tons of other ones, and how Amazon became the preferred online retailer, even though there was lots of other ones as well, 
Dogecoin may become a preferred digital currency in the future because people like to use it so much. Now cryptos are still fairly early in their development phases so there could be another crypto that comes out that proves to be more useful and more usable than Doge but I think people love Doge so much that it's not going to go anywhere in the near future. So now Doge as an investment. So in the near future, the next five to ten years, I could see Doge going up maybe to a couple dollars in value but then eventually I see it coming back down to around a dollar like the other fiat currencies. And I think it's gonna stay around that price as it becomes used more as a form of currency. So with it being around 20 cents right now and it going up to around a dollar or so, there is some potential in the short term that it could make some good returns. But for the long term, it's gonna probably go up and then stabilize and it'll probably reach a certain point where it's not really a good investment anymore. Now I have to be clear, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a stock or investment expert. This is just my speculation or my opinion for what could happen potentially over time. Honestly, I could be totally wrong and it could be something totally different. So we'll just have to wait and see. So now what do I think about this guy, the Dogecoin millionaire or pro the Doge? So honestly, I think it's pretty impressive that he stuck to what he said he was going to do. He came up with a plan and told everybody what he was going to do, and he stuck to it. He saw that he saw his account value go up to almost $3 million, and then come back down below a million dollars. And he didn't change from his original plan. He didn't stray from his original promise, which he set forth. So I think that's pretty cool that he stuck to it, and he didn't go and sell out even though he could have made a lot of money from it and that money could have changed his life. Also, all the stuff that he makes I think is really entertaining. So I think his story created a future career for him. So even if he doesn't sell his Dogecoin in the near future, I think he will do pretty well with YouTube and sharing his story, the documentaries and the different things that they've created for him, selling merchandise and doing all these different things becoming an entertainer and different things like that and even working his way up in the music industry which is something that he's wanted to do so even if he doesn't sell his dogecoin i think he's going to be fine and i think it's really cool that he's stuck to his plan so thanks for watching everyone let me know what you think about dogecoin leave it down in the comments do you like dogecoin do you not like dogecoin what are some of the reasons why or why not and things that you like about crypto um, I'll probably make another video in the near future talking about some of my mistakes that I've made with crypto and some of the things that I've learned about crypto because I'm still fairly new to crypto. If you want to get some sweet Dogecoin Millionaire merch, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get some of that. Or if you want to check him out, go over to his YouTube channel, Dogecoin Millionaire, and check out some of his videos. I think they're hilarious and the guy's really cool. And I really hope that he makes a video soon about how he saved up his initial $180,000. Because for a person making fifty to $60,000 a year to save up that much money, I mean, if he's making $60,000 a year, that's three times his annual income that he saved up in a short amount of time. So that's pretty cool. So I hope he makes a video soon talking about how he accumulated his $180,000 that he was able to put in as his initial investment in Dogecoin. I think we could all learn some good lessons from that. So thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.